Hi guys, I'm Brittany Gastineau with Eye on Glam. Since I am your glam expert, I am here with Angel Marino, also known as Mac Daddy, who is a famous makeup artist and he's going to be giving us all the little secrets of why celebrities look so great. We're done. Let me look. Wow. Selfie time. It's obvious to take a selfie. So now that I'm all glammed up, tell me what you did. So we basically started with a little bit of skin prep and then we moved on to a little bit of foundation. Um, then we moved on to like other essentials like lips and whatnot. Um, but the key thing that we really did, we really wanted to highlight your face and we really wanted to contour your face as well. So what I did is I kind of warmed up like the areas that I wanted to contour with uh, mineral powder from MAC. This is in a medium tan shade. So I started to just kind of warm up the perimeters of your face, particularly like the temples of your forehead and kind of like the hollows of your cheek. To start in really, really small increments, just kind of working my brush in a buffing motion, and then just start to add more product to kind of kick up the saturation to really get like the contour that we want as dramatic as we want it. So basically, this is like putting filler in your cheeks and you don't need the filler. Exactly. <laughs> and then we wanted a nice pop of color on the cheeks just to give you like a nice healthy radiant glow. So what I did is I took a really nice peachy blush and then I actually incorporated my own products from my own product line called Artist Couture. So tell me about your, your product line. So I'm basically so what it is is these powders that just help to enhance the skin. They help to really add more like of a luminous kind of effect to skin. And they're very, very versatile with what you can do with them. But particularly with you today, what I did is I dusted a little bit over the blush, picked it up on my brush, and then dusted it on your cheeks. So it's gonna add a little bit of color because the blush is a, it's a peachy tone. But because of my Diamond Glow Powder, it adds a really nice sheen, a nice glow. So it just makes your skin look a lot more radiant, a lot more healthy, a lot more youthful, and you just are glowing. I love it. I always feel that when I have a glow, it always, don't you feel it makes girls look younger? Definitely. You always want to have radiance to the skin. Um, whenever we think of like really youthful, young, healthy skin, we think of radiant skin, we think of glowing skin, we think of J-Lo. You know what I mean? Right. So um, definitely you always want to add like a nice, pop of, of, of shine to your face. So obviously we're in Hollywood and I'm going to ask you, who are some of the celebrities that you're working with right now? Um, well, I've worked with Ariana Grande. I work with Mel B from X I Factor. Love Mel B. Um, Christina Milian, Black China. Love. Karuchi. I love Karuchi. I've also worked with some reality stars, some housewives. Social media now, people are contacting you, and I feel like it's such a different world. Like in in our world now, mm -hmm. you know, with Instagram, people can find you, exactly. and it's the coolest thing ever. That now you don't need agents or anything. It's exactly. just like our Instagram. You know, <clears throat> he has almost you know half a million followers, and you've gotten so many big celebrity clients through Instagram. Exactly. Yeah. Um, I just think it's like the new way. I think it's a new generation. I think that as time evolves, things change, and it's just kind of like the new way of doing things. And I love the fact that you told me that you put your product line on Instagram and it sold out immediately yeah. just through Instagram. Exactly. You didn't have to do any kind of press or anything. It was just all through Instagram. Yeah, definitely. It's been, I think that if you have a platform and you know how to brand yourself and you know how to go about the business aspect of it, you can definitely make amazing things happen. The cool thing with Instagram is I'm able to work with people like yourself and use my own products and say, hey, this is what I'm using or I'm working with Christina Milian, this is what I'm using or Mel B, whoever, and I'm able to kind of like product integrate my own products. So in turn, people want to know what I'm using and it's just cool to be able to say like, it's my own line, go get it here. For Ion Glam, give me the five Mac Daddy do's okay. of makeup. Okay, for one, um, glow, for sure. Like we talked about earlier, you have to have really, well you don't have to have, but you know, my style of makeup, super, super luminous looking skin, really nice glow. Um, Bottom lashes, to me, are huge. They make Bottom. a huge, huge, huge difference with the way that your eyes look. I've so, never actually had, do you know that I've never had bottom lashes put on me? They make such a difference. Okay. It's, it's insane. Um, if you don't have great bottom lashes, adding individual <laughs> bottom lashes will make the world of difference. Um, gloss, I love gloss and gloss streak. I think they definitely make your lips look more juicy, more plump. Um, I'm a big fan of kind of like a white or like a beige kind of color in the waterline just because it kind of makes your eyes look brighter. Okay. Um, and then I would probably say, always curling lashes. 
curly girl. I never curl Curling my lashes. lashes. Especially if you wear falsies, you don't want your falsies to curl up and then your natural lashes to go straight out. <laughs> that happened to me the yeah. other day. I'm like, I was trying to keep my lashes on for the longest time and I'm like, ah! Yeah. Have to come off. And especially when you hit that profile, you don't want them to look like this. So. Right. Okay, the Mac Daddy five do nots. Do nots. Um, do not use dirty brushes on your face because then it's just gonna be gross and you end up getting all kinds of weird, crazy colors. And bacteria. Um, and don't pimples. use, exactly. And don't use um, black in your brows. That's a big no no. Always stick to like the brown shades. I used to do that back in the day. Back in the day. Not anymore. Don't double dip brushes. I feel like sometimes people use the same brush to apply like foundation, bronzer, blush. Like there's three different elements, so you want three different tools to use with those different products. Um, and then like when it gets all like, I, I hate when makeup gets all like muddy. muddy. Yeah, yeah, what is that? Probably not cleaning brushes or just kind of dibbling and dabbling in different products that are just kind of creating a mumbo jumbo of whatever. And then what about like blending? Like that's like a, when they just put that on like crazy eyeliner. Yeah, I mean, you definitely need to use the right tool so that everything is blending out appropriately and it's looking nice and diffused in the way that it's supposed to be. Um, so definitely don't use the wrong brushes. The so wrong just, brushes, yeah. Because yeah. sometimes I'll use like a different, like, I'll just... Like, like the oh, most this random is... brush. Yeah. Yeah. So you definitely want to be um, selective with the, the brush choices. So tools are really, really super important. Very. They make the world of difference. So, I mean, besides my line, I know that you have a t-shirt line now, right? I do. I just uh, launched my line, Gastineau Clothing, and it's available online like you and through Instagram, and it's been crazy, and I can't believe how Instagram has helped me as well. Right? So, yeah, and now I'm about to leave you, so I'm leaving so you. So you're leaving me. <laughs> <laughs> crazy.